Hey there guys, welcome back to Banished. It's now year 36. We've just set up our second quarry, because the first one emptied itself a bit quicker than I was anticipating. And we've placed down blueprints for the last houses of the first estate, covered by this market. We've now, once we've built those, we've filled in all of the land this market covers. I can't get more houses in these gaps, annoyingly. So that might end up more stockpiles. I'd probably get a house up here, if I wanted. But I'm, I don't think I will. I don't think I will use that gap. So now if we want more houses, we're starting over here, probably. However, today I want to look at getting farms started. So... I would like... If I can remember where they are, here they are. Probably 10 by 10 with fields. And we'll start over here with a nice 10 by 10 and below it another 10 by 10 and over here a 10 by 10 followed by another 10 by 10 sorted four fields ready to go who knows how they'll be prioritized in terms of these houses and the fact that I only have four builders and really could do with 34 We'll see. I, in a way, I'd quite, kind of like them to prioritise the houses because then we could actually get more population increase. The issue at the moment is we've got five less homes than we do families. Uh, food is going up, that's good, because I wasn't convinced it would still go up at the moment. Population is doing interestingly. It is increasing. So that's something. The adults is going down and that's annoying. I could do with the adults being steady, but it is steadily going down and has been for three years now. However, the children has just had a baby boom as I built all the new houses. And so students should be about to have a baby boom. You can kind of see where the where the boom happened sort of four or five years after the children. So hopefully we will hit new students shortly as those 36 kids grow up like if I look at the house I built two years ago there's a 12 year old student and a three year old child now so yeah they're, they're all having their second kids and the first ones are just becoming students that's happening cemetery is slowly filling up but I think we're doing okay we don't need another one I wish I could work out why the tavern doesn't oh it, it has made some ale how much wheat do you require to make ale? Seriously? Well, you've made six at least. We're all making some. God, it's gonna be a really rare commodity at that rate of production. Um, what I need to remember to do is put sheep back into this pasture. I forgot about that last time. I split this pasture. Should have eight sheep walk, seven sheep walk over here. And our three or four years ago, we started up this cattle pasture. It's almost up to its maximum, and this one's almost is back at its maximum. This one has always been maximum, and is producing, yeah, 1,400 beef and 42 leather a year. It's pretty good, and given I'm going to have three of those, uh, a merchant cabbage and squash. I do want both. I do want both. Let's go for cabbage. Um, I have a hundred warm coats that I can spare. Uh, 72 steel tools. So actually thinking about it, I can spare... I don't want to spare one. But I could probably buy both of them if I wanted to. With enough effort. 600 firewood. Well, I don't actually have lots of firewood to spare at the moment, but... 400 firewood then. Um take this up to 150 because I can probably spare the coats and tools. So the max 100. Still not quite there. I have plenty of coal. I don't know why it's not in here. And then some logs. I'm not going to be able to get up enough money, am I? For both. Let's just do one then. So this will be 72. It will be 100. You completely gone, you completely gone, one and nothing. 
I thought that was enough, but apparently it isn't. Uh, 3,005, so I need 120 more. Can I do that with this? There we go. Trade. So I've got cabbages now, so turn off cabbages and dismiss. There we go. That can be for one of my new fields when they eventually get built out here, which they are doing. Um, I thought you were going to prioritise the houses, but I guess we are having stone shortages currently, so understandably not necessarily the priority. We're also having labourer shortages. Um, the labourer situation is problematic. I know part of the issue with this quarry is it's so far away from all our houses. All of our residents pretty much live here. Once I get an estate up here, it should be a lot better. However, I wanted to finish one estate before starting the other. And this one is almost done now. It's only got the ten houses to go. It does look like the tavern is finally doing stuff. I don't know, it needs a lot of wheat to be able to do anything. We appear to be having slight issues with firewood, but that shouldn't last. They should be able to redo the influx. It's just because I trade, I put a load of wood and firewood into the trading post, then we had no wood to make into firewood. We should be doing a lot better. This fishing dock now—it's had a full year. It did terribly last year. Wow, that's not doing great. This one, however, six hundred could be better. Five hundred. Um interesting issues with these fishy docks. They're not making as much as I was expecting. Might have to look into that at some point. Oh, yeah, I'm increasing food at the moment and I'm about to go to lower farms, so that will help. One's already ready. So, what do we got that we can use? Pumpkin, wheat, potato, pepper, corn, cabbage. I think the other two are both crops as well, so... We're going to have eight crops. I've currently got four fields. Well, well, we'll give it a second and we'll wait for more stuff to be built before I actually try setting those up. Not least because I don't have the farmers, to, I don't have the people to be farmers to do it. And I don't have a barn over there that I could really do with, so we'll leave it a second. I'll just see if I go to the cemetery looks a lot more full than just under 50%. I'll be honest. They must really cram those graves in. How's the quarry doing? 6% used so far. That's going okay then. Ah, an orchard has developed an infestation. This one. This one that's infested. Guess we're cutting it down then. Hopefully because they're different crop types, they're different types of tree that it shouldn't spread. I'll have to keep an eye on it. It's just 15 trees to chop down, which means I get an extra influx of wood suddenly as well, so not really going to complain. Looks like it might be spreading. Or it's already sort of dissipating because it's winter. One or the other, I don't really know. I'll let them chop the trees down, because they just replant me again afterwards, so... I mean, a couple of years while they're regrowing of no production in that one orchard. It's not a big issue. My builders have really slowed down, though. I could do with them getting some stuff done. Ah, oh, yes, the students are just starting to go up now. If I change back down to, like, two years, it's a bit harder to see any sort of increase. But you can see over, over the last five years the kids have got up so students should be going up. Adults have gone down a bit. I, 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 mean, I kind of need to go onto the 50 year graph at, at soon because I've, I've hit year 36 now. I'm probably between 25 and 50. So, yeah, total population is definitely going up but it's mainly kids. I've got 46 kids now. This is getting a bit excessive. 
we are going to have an issue where we may need a third schoolhouse before long to deal with that influx of kids that I'm going to have coming through. Hopefully we'll be okay. I'm being very slow about building anything. Oh, here we go. There's another house coming in now. I think it's just... Yeah, all of them have all the wood and iron they need. It's just the stone. We're having a real stone shortage of all these houses are built and running out of stone in the quarry. Although we are almost out of iron and coal as well, so... I can't say it's just stone. We're running low on wood as well. I, I just used an awful lot of materials in the last four years doing this. It's nice seeing it so built up, but I have used an awful lot to do it. Arguably more than I could afford. More students. Yeah, we're back into above 20, so we need both schoolhouses again now. So that's something. One of my fishermen has died and been replaced. And... The orchard has been chopped down, so the infestation is gone. And so they will replant that in the spring, and in two or three years it will be ready to go again. I'm not a fan of this bridge, but I'm going to have to leave it here. At least temporarily, in case I get stuck on this island again. <laughs> Work out a longer term solution at some point. Uh, some more old age deaths. At least it is all old age. Like, very few people are dying for other reasons. So at least it's all old age deaths. I'm kind of I'm running out of stuff to do because obviously you can just keep expanding indefinitely. But I have everything now. Even the tablet has finally started doing some stuff. He says it's now stopped. We appear to be having alcohol. Like, we've got 10 alcohol. The average health is going down. That is something I need to look at. We are just completely out of medicine. Did that second herbalist ever get built? No. Still waiting on two more stone. And it will happen eventually. But that's the end of year 36. So, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next one.